that we found, which we thought. Yeah, there's Dude. a bad man over there. Where do you see him? Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, okay. Dude, dude, I'm, you move. Move. I'm trying to move! Talk to me! Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be talking about a co-op horror game and one game I wanted to do for quite some time but never had a chance to do it nor my friend and we finally had a chance to do it and here is my review of Sign of Silence. Sign of Silence is a four player co-op horror game set in a dreadful outskirt of Dan Will Town. Whether you can escape the place or stay there forever, depending on the caution conditions. Your object is to try and get out of the place or fight the darkness itself, which sounds very, very uh, exciting, but really it's not. But the problem with this game, uh, I must say, is it lacks content, alright? The first hour is fine, but then within the hour it's just meh. That, that's literally it, uh, meh. Because um, there is quite a bit of problems with the game, let alone how the game is played. Uh, so let's just start with the good side of the game. The game is pretty pretty. Um, it's pretty nice. And there is... Well, I would say at least there's furniture in houses, I'll tell you that. And cool looking monsters. That's pretty much it. <laughs> God, that is so small. Oh, let's get to the bad. My first complaint is to is joining my friend, and when I was trying to join my friend on the server list, you could not find him at all. Okay, so okay, so you're gonna invite me? I'm trying to. It's not letting me. Okay, how do I do? You have to walk through me. So what did you okay, do? So play with friends. Uh huh. Invite. Invite. And then just click on me, and then don't Your do anything. What the fuck? But the way we worked it around, he sent me the invite, and I joined. And he saw me in the lobby, so that that kind of works, I guess. Uh, the second problem, and the main problem, which really killed the game, well sort of killed the game, is uh, the wait for my friend. I spent 15 minutes, 15 minutes waiting for him to come in the game because he was still in the loading screen. Uh, I'll pick that up, whatever the hell it is. Our new item, syringe. Maybe we're separated for now. Are you in game? No, I'm still loading. Oh, okay. <laughs> To get back onto the bridge, use the lift after installing new fuses. Wow, okay. this place is very Christmassy. The straps like spaghetti. It holds me so tight. How long like are you going to take to load in? Jesus Christ. Voice acting? Yeah. Like, you know, video games like... Should there we go, you're alive. Probably. It's not even... His connection's perfect. So it's it's got nothing to do with that. I, I honestly... I think we had like four or five tries in the game and then it just really... It just got boring very fast. Um, speaking of boring, let's talk about the monsters. Uh, so there are there are, there are certain monsters in the game. There is like a spider lady which comes out the ground and starts chasing you. But before you can run away, it will grab you. Hey, you're what? What? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. <laughs> you get two tries of that woman. Uh, apparently. <laughs> I don't know why. If you get caught by her, she puts you in a den. You get caught twice, she rips your head off and turns you into a spider. Why, I don't know. Again. Uh, another monster is called Skinny. Um, that's what I call it. Skinny. And I have a lot to say about that thing. Because it's the most annoying thing in the game. Uh, and it's just horrible. Tall boy, we only found him once and he also makes noises so the spider can get attracted. And then we got these weird cultist people which just walk around moping, really. Um, I want to I wanna stress this 
I can't stress this enough. Skinny is the most broken thing in the game. Really is. There is something in there we need. Yeah. Well. Oh, fuck me! Alright, come on, man. I if you're trying to get to one area to another and he's in your path, there is no way you're getting out of that, honestly. There is no way at all without getting hurt or making noise, which makes the spider come out, and it's just tedious. It really is. The first time it scared the hell out of me, but, um, yeah, it just got really boring. And that's the thing that can kill you in one hit as well sometimes. Honestly, it's not even recommended for two players, nor one player. Maybe three. But the fact that when you're walking around, uh, you do have a, you do see maps, which is nice, but it's just so empty. Honestly, there's all there is is a diary, flare, uh, maybe uh, like a syringe to revive dead people. Not when they're uh, a spider, um, and that's it. Like we like when we went, there's a, there's a town there, and we thought, oh, that would be great to have a look at the town. So but as soon as we got to the town. Um, it was just really bleak, really. They, they, they had furniture in the houses, which I respect. But it, it, it was just... It wasn't interesting. It was boring. Uh, I found the entire game very boring. Uh, the only way to get out is by boat, uh, on an elevator to cross the bridge. Um, I believe, is, I believe helicopter. And if you want, which I'd highly doubt anyone would, go down and fight the darkness with flare guns and stuff. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's one of those games I thought would be really good and from what it advertised, it sounded very exciting. Now, I have to say, unfortunately, this is one of those horror games I really don't like playing. I just, it just doesn't feel exciting. Um, however, if the price was dropped down to say like a fiver, like five pounds or in American US dollars, probably, you know, Maybe seven dollars for a game like that. I think what they're offering is a bit too much. Don't get me wrong; the monsters are wonderful. They look cool, but they just get boring so fast. And I think that's about it for this game. Honestly, t don't take my word for it. This is just this is just a review that I have to say it wasn't a good game, honestly. And I I, I do hope people nowadays will at least make more horror games or even cop horror games exciting if, if I would highly recommend a game for you uh, that would be that would be the blackout club now that is more fun um, I'm gonna get around to that review at some point but without further ado uh, don't forget to subscribe to the MGN channel all my links for my twitch YouTube are down below feel free to come and subscribe or come and check me out on twitch and, uh, yeah, um, that's, that's the review. I'm sorry I can't give you any more joy in this game, but that, that's that. You take care, and have a wonderful day. Oh, yeah, uh, 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 alright, I want my money back. <laughs> Toasty! Toasty! That game. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the game's frozen. Oh, really? It won't even let me leave. <laughs> alright, alright, honestly, we, we, we tried our, we tried our luck on that game. And I will say it wasn't the greatest. Okay, it's 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 the single game mode. It's escape from the thing, the game. It's just one of those like. It's... Okay, how much did you pay? Oh, okay, okay. What do you think it sh should should cost? I'm gonna say five dollars. If you get what I mean, there's no wow, interesting bits. At least stay close had that kind of interesting thing. You had a quest to go on. Yeah, and they kind of want to emphasize like health or whatever they seem like they wanted it uh, but i don't know like it's like it was not... bro it was a broken mess that stealth it just wasn't good yeah it was a proper broken mess